Today, we are starting with nothing. I have no concept, no chord progression, no lyrics. I don't know what instrument I'm playing, nothing. Actually, many days start like this, and it can be scary and somewhat intimidating, but something always comes. I mean, something usually comes. This is As It Happens, a show about songwriting in real time. I'm Jonathan Mann. I've been writing a song a day since January 1st of 2009. There are infinite ways to approach writing a song, and you never know how it's going to turn out. This could be amazing or complete and utter crap. Let's find out together. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just strumming around, trying to find some chords that sound interesting. One thing I've been thinking a lot about is I tend to want to be in this range of just like this kind of slow place. But I think that, well, for one thing, it's just good to sort of uh, mix it up for yourself. Lately, I've been saying, well, let's just take whatever you're noodling around with and make it faster. As soon as I... This idea that just this feeling that just popped into my head was something about how lately I've been feeling like life just moves so fast and I can't ever sort of catch my breath. As soon as I get settled As soon as I get my bearings That's when it's time to move again And then, okay, so now I'm moving into this other feeling that I've been having lately, which is about like, you know, I just never know if I'm doing the right thing. I just never know if I'm on the right track. Am I, am, should I be doing something I'm not doing? Gosh, this is gonna sound really pretentious. I probably will wanna edit this out, but like, should I be writing a book? Should I be focusing more on like my speaking career? Should I try to go on tour? All this is what goes through my head. Am I going the right way? Going the right way, like on the right track. Both of those phrases are too too tired. And they don't quite capture the full kind of feeling that I'm after. What about like, this is more like... Am I doing it all? Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> That's more the sentiment. getting kind of meta here, but you know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. Whenever I ask myself that question, I think about this quote. It's my one of my all-time favorite quotes, and let me see if I can remember who said it. Is it Martha Graham? Yeah, Martha Graham, godmother of um, modern dance. I'm gonna read this quote with, with passion here. There is a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all of time, this expression is unique, and if you block it, it will never exist through any other medium, and it'll be lost. It is not your business to determine how good it is, nor how valuable, nor how it compares with other expressions. It is your business to keep it yours, clearly and directly, to keep the channel open. You do not even have to believe in yourself or your work. You can, God, I'm gonna like cry. You can, <clears throat> you have to keep yourself open and aware to the urges that motivate you. Keep the channel open. She's saying this quote to a, uh, a fellow dancer who was feeling sort of down about stuff. Um, ironically, she, this other dancer, Agnes, had had a huge hit with the musical Oklahoma, which she had choreographed. <clears throat> but she was sort of feeling weird that this commercial thing was huge and her other stuff wasn't. But she says to Agnes, as for you, Agnes, you have so far used about one third of your talent. But, Agnes said, when I see my work, I take for granted what other people value in it. I'm not pleased or satisfied. And then, <laughs> this is the best. Martha Graham says, no artist is pleased. And Agnes says, but there is no satisfaction. And Martha Graham says, no satisfaction, whatever, at any time. There is only a queer, divine 
dissatisfaction, a blessed unrest that keeps us marching and makes us more alive than the others. Jesus Christ, I fucking love that quote so much. Uh, okay, so anytime I'm thinking the th thoughts that I'm thinking right now in this song, I kind of come back to this quote, which, which weirdly I've never tried to quote the quote in a song, so I think this would be a good fit for it. I fear the quickening I keep the channel open Okay, we're on the right track. So right, I started this song with nothing but a little guitar stuff. As often happens, as I think I've done on the podcast before, through writing down some words and just singing what comes to mind, I've discovered what this song is about, which is which is really the essence of this quote, which is just something I've been writing about a lot lately, actually, so I shouldn't be surprised. The uncomfortableness of being creative, the, the doubt. It's about doubt in my abilities and doubt in my path. Can't say what's valuable or good. She says, it is not your business to determine how good it is or how valuable, nor how it compares with other expressions. Oh, it is your business to keep it yours. Oh, I like that. It's funny to say that, and I'm directly quoting her, but that's okay. I'm doing my best to keep it mine. Never pleased or satisfied. No satisfaction at any time. Am I doing it all? Wrong, 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 wrong. Does the world even need another song, 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 song? I think what would be good here is a bridge. And like what a bridge does is the music changes in a, some kind of meaningful way. And there's another like related thought that happens. The older I get, the less I know. The more songs I write, the less I'm sure. Okay, I think the song is done. I'm gonna call it Martha Graham. Okay. I'm about to do the actual take of the song, but I made one change, which is I'm playing it on a different instrument so that I can play it lower. The other version I was singing too high, and so now I'm gonna be singing a lower register and it should sound better, I hope. As soon as I get my bearings, that's when it's time to move again. This mass delusion that we're sharing Makes it hard to know up from down Am I doing it all wrong, 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 wrong Does the world even need another song, 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 song I feel the quickening Keep the channel open I feel a queer divine dissatisfaction Can't say what's valuable or good I'm doing my best to keep it mine I'm never pleased or satisfied no satisfaction, whatever, at any time. Am I doing it all wrong, 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 wrong? Does the world even need another song, 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 a song, song? I feel the quickening, I keep the channel open for that. For that queer divine dissatisfaction The older I get, the less I know The more songs I write, the less I'm sure That I'm cut out 
for the big show I go for the horizon but I'm lying in the dirt I can't seem to get comfortable the anxiety in my chest it just keeps glowing Never been good at standing still I only know, I only know how to keep going Am I doing it all wrong? quickening keep the channel open for that queer divine dissatisfaction for that queer divine dissatisfaction for that queer divine dissatisfaction Wow, so we are at five episodes of this podcast so far, um, which is significant because if you'll recall from my ending chat in the first episode, I only have 10 episodes of this thing made so far. I kind of w- have been wondering if if 10 episodes of hearing me writing a song is sort of enough and if I'll be able to sort of keep that fresh and interesting for you over the course of, of more than 10 episodes. So I'm, I, I'm very curious what you think about that. If you want to shoot me an email at jonathan at jonathanman.net or just let me know on Twitter what you think. But be Beyond that, you know, I have a, I do have another idea. It would be great if the next 10 episodes of this podcast were not me writing a song in real time, but other people writing songs in real time, because man, that would just be really cool and that would be very different. I've been reaching out to friends who I know would be able to do it, um, and they're all interested if a little cagey the problem is that it's it's kind of a really vulnerable place to put oneself um you know i'm doing it voluntarily it's kind of my thing and you know to be asked to come and do that is it's kind of a big ask that being said if you know of someone i want to do like a sort of nominating thing so if you want to nominate someone to come on this podcast and do their real-time songwriting process, please nominate someone and either tweet at me at Man or shoot me an email jonathan at jonathanman.net to nominate someone who you think uh, A, could do it, and also uh, a key component is would be willing to get that vulnerable and really invite us in to what is normally a very private process. I think that dovetails really nicely with the sort of subject matter of today's song. I really like this song a lot. I like how it came out. Um, I've been thinking ever since I wrote it about ways that I might rework it and, and sort of like we did last week, find where this song really lives. Yeah, and so I give this song, I give the song an A. The song gets an A, and uh, there's always tomorrow. I produce this show by myself in my studio. Hope you like what you heard. If you did, please spare a word or two. Leave me a review, rating two, tell a friend or two. I got a Patreon you could do, and I'll keep making this podcast for free. 
We live in the attention economy So please come notice me Let's smash the patriarchy And white supremacy too Thanks for listening